Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, okay, now September, beginning of September is like a big change. It kind of reminds us of like the beginning of January, new goals. Uh, we're going to do better this year. We're going to be more organized. We, we have all these things um, on our to-do list. And the one and most important thing that we sometimes actually forget to do is make a list of our goals and target them. Now, write down how it is you're going to reach those goals and actually start working towards those goals. Start using the techniques and the things you need to do to reach your goals every single day. Now, if that has to do with helping your kids with their homework, and working on their confidence and teaching your children to eat correctly or if it has to do with you working on your body or reaching a professional goal or a goal that has to do in your personal relationship friendships work whatever it is get it down write it down on a piece of paper because when it's all in here it is bound to get forgotten at some point left behind um, if we don't actually specify how we are going to spend our time each day, um, and I don't mean be a freak with organization, that's not what I mean, but if you don't discipline your own time, there are many people that will kind of use your time or they'll have you on the phone or they'll be um, at your house or asking you to do things for them. And you will be maybe slightly enjoying the process, but you must realize that if you have a goal in the back of your mind that you want to reach, you need to organize your time in order to reach that goal. And if you don't give yourself an hour, two hours, 40 minutes a day for that goal, and you're just letting other people steal your time, that goal will not be reached. So get clear, write it down on a piece of paper. What are your goals at the beginning of the year? Has it got to do with your kids? Has it got to do with you? Has it got to do with your work? Is it professional? Is it personal? What is it? Get it down on a piece of paper. Then figure out what are the easiest and quickest ways to reach that goal. Do you need to do things every single day? Do you need to do things two, three times a day? Do you need to do something once a week? Get clear on what it is that you need to do. And then begin to discipline yourself to do that thing every single day or once a week, however often as you need to do it. Okay, because remember always, if we don't have the results we want, it doesn't mean that we have tried everything. For us not to have the results we want, something is missing. It's not everything that has been tried. There is something that we have not tried. So keep trying to reach your goal. Get it down clear on a piece of paper. What goals do you want to reach? Where is it that you're going? How often do you need to do things to get there? And if you're stuck, PM me, PM me, call me, come to one of the workshops, we'll discuss it together, we'll figure it out. Things are not difficult. It just needs a bit of proactiveness. Be proactive and miracles can happen. Okay? So work with that. I will be expecting your calls and your PMs, okay? And I will be getting back to you, each and every one of you individually. It's a pleasure. I enjoy that. Uh, I enjoy serving you and I enjoy just the feeling that people are being more creative and people are doing what they love and people are finding ways to reach their goals, whether they are personal, whether they are professional, whatever it is, it gives me so much joy. But just remember, you do need to put in the work. And once you put in the work, your whole life can change. So just make that decision. Do you want things to be different? If you do, it's at your service. Have a great weekend. Work with this this weekend and PM me. I will answer each and every one of you individually. Have a great weekend. Bye.